Jed, thanks so much. Recapping the vote from yesterday and an easy win yesterday for Governor Kevin Stitt. He is the Republican nominee as he seeks re-election. He joins us live in the studio this morning. Thanks for joining us so early. You probably didn't get much sleep, Governor. No, it was a late night, but you guys do this every morning. Yeah. So, uh... We're used to no sleep. What's your reaction kind of uh, uh, absorbing everything that happened last night? Your reaction this morning? Well, just really, really pleased with uh, with everything. I'm thank th so thankful that Oklahomans love the direction our state's going and and uh, made me the Republican nominee and and look forward to November. And um, you know, I'm watching all those runoff races and a lot of our uh, some great House and Senate races that a lot of people don't know about that statewide. But those are super, super important to move our state, get conservatives in the legislature as well. What is your main focus now between uh, here and November? And if you were elected, you know, for the next four years? Well, I still have a day job and, and I have to go to work every day to make Oklahoma a top 10 state. Uh, we're working on inflation relief for Oklahomans right now. Mm -hmm. So want to get that across the finish line. I've been pushing for a grocery tax uh, cut. Uh, because right now the Biden policies are causing inflation to really skyrocket across Oklahoma. Uh, so r just I'm going to continue my day job and continue meeting with Oklahomans and, uh, and, and promoting my vision to make Oklahoma a top 10 state. Families are hurting financially right now. Really nothing accomplished so far as far as relief in our state. What are you going to do differently? What's your reaction? What do you tell families this morning? You know, well, the good news is we have the lowest unemployment in our state's mm -hmm. history. Uh, but with the, with the Biden energy policies, uh, every, from the grocery store to the gas station, everything costs more. Uh, so I'm asking the legislature, I called them in for a special session and said, hey, let's, let's get rid of the grocery tax. We're one of only 13 states that taxes groceries. Uh, ours is one of the highest. That'll be something that can help right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. And then I wanted to lower the income tax another quarter point. And remember, we have the largest savings account we've ever had in state history. Uh, so we can absolutely afford that right now because of our fiscal discipline in the last few years. Do you think it's going to happen, though, for families? I, I really do. I think the Senate, uh, you know, took a pause. They were doing all their election, mm -hmm. and everybody had the races that were, they were running. Uh, the House passed some things. And so we'll get the leadership back together in the next couple of days, have lunch or dinner, and uh, really try to get a, a great plan for Oklahoma. What about accountability? I think that's the one thing that people talk to us the most about, even just hearing with this epic charter school's possible fraud of up to $50 million a 10-year investigation. I know when you talk about bad vendors, Governor, that there is a side, that side. But what about the accountability on the government side of, of <clears throat> making sure things are done right with our money? Yeah, great, great question. I mean, the Department of Education really should have been on that issue. They have to manage all the school districts across the state. It's really disappointing. When I first came into office, I called for an audit on uh, epic and then I called for an audit on all of the Department of Education so again we had some uh, we had some leaders asleep at the wheel and um, uh, we'll see what happens on that I, I know it's an ongoing investigation so uh, we'll see exactly what happens but we have to protect the taxpayers money number one and that's why I've been calling for all these audits to make sure that we have transparency I put our checkbook online we have gone from like 49th since I took over to number 7th in transparency, and I'll continue that message as long as I'm governor. All right. Well, Governor Kevin Stitt, thank you so much for joining us this morning after a long night and uh, campaign. I know you're going to still be on the campaign trail. We're going to be uh, talking with Joy Hoffmeister, your Democrat opponent, coming up in just a little bit as well. Thanks for being with us. We appreciate it. Oh, thank you so much. Absolutely.